All right, we're going to do an FFmpeg uh, thumbnailer with Pulumi. So we'll get this fired up. Pulumi new type script. Okay, it'll create this uh, blank project. And then we'll copy some files over once that's done. Um, This actually comes from a few different tutorials. All right, we'll copy this. Pull arrow. Okay, we've got a retarded. And um, really what we want to do is we want to install, we want to install the AWS uh, AWS and crosswalk. All right, so <clears throat> we'll go over what this Docker file does. Well, actually, we'll just go over this now. Okay, basically you're you're installing the WCLI and FFmpeg. And we're keeping it local because downloading it causes an error. And then we're putting the handler, which is this program here, into the uh, this var task directory. And it'll automatically pick it up from there and run run the handler. So the handler is this function here, which uses the run command, which requires the child process, which executes synchronously, non-overlapping. Um, it loops over the records in the bucket. It replaces dash with a colon for the timestamp. It creates a thumbnail file. And <clears throat> it copies the it copies the um, the video into the uh, uh, it copies um, the video and the bucket to the local uh, file system in the container, runs the FFmpeg job, which basically takes a screenshot at the time frame, at the frame point of, you know, the second, minute, seconds screenshot. And it creates a thumbnail file, which is a JPG image. And then it copies, or it, uh, basically it downloads the video, takes a screenshot, and then uploads the screenshot back to the bucket and logs it out, okay, using child process. So that's, that's the image. Now we have to build the logic that creates the relationship between the bucket and the image. The image, well, the image will be a container that runs as a Lambda execution task. So <clears throat> first thing we'll need is AWS and Crosswalk. It's these. And then we'll go ahead and set the image to be <clears throat> crosswalk, um, elastic container registry, build and push image. So it'll look in this directory, use the Docker file, which pulls in this image. Well, 
Docker file which <clears throat> installs AWS CLI and this uh, this uh, FFmpeg which is here locally installs that and then pulls this in and packages it up sends it off to the registry in ECR for use as the image that will embed in the uh, in the in the uh, in the lambda function okay so first we get the image then we'll create <clears throat> this bucket okay the bucket is basically um, we're gonna actually make a, a retarded website out of it which is just a something that's just gonna host the image itself there's no even like there's no markup in it it's just the image but it'll be able to host it host the site when we're done so it's just a bucket we create new s3 bucket we'll call it thumbnailer we're going to call all the objects thumbnailer but they're of different types so they won't conflict all right um, one thing we have to do here is say Pulumi. Um, sorry, I can I can put that later. But Pulumi um, config set AWS region US East one. When you Pulumi up, it'll need that. Okay. Um, okay. So bucket thumbnailer. So we're just creating a new bucket have the image based on that and then um, <clears throat> I'm going to add this bucket policy here um, and this is going to say um, This is going to say, um, use this bucket ID policy arn dot apply means whatever this bucket uh, Am Amazon resource num uh, name is, this globally unique identifier is apply that to the policy that we're going to attach to this bucket. So that'll be apply means dynamically apply whatever value gets passed when the creation happens. And we don't want to create anything inside of an apply, but we use apply to get a concrete value out of, out of something that is derived based off of something else. So the original thing is the bucket that needs to be created first. And then once we get, that bucket we can get all the properties of the bucket and that's what apply does it it uses properties of the thing that's been being created or whatever's downstream we'll say bucket once it's created it'll have an arn and apply to that property this data here and so we're going to create a policy in line here and attach it to the bucket that says effectively allow anyone to do any action anywhere in the bucket on the bucket itself directly and in any subdirectories of the bucket so allow anyone to do anything anywhere allow anyone to do anything anywhere okay that's what that means all right, <clears throat> next. And I have tested this out, like are all the, is all this necessary? And the answer is yes. Everything I'm doing is necessary for it to work. All right, so role, okay. So a role is necessary if you wanna establish a rate relationship between two cloud objects they need to talk to each other, then you need to assign a role to one of the objects so it could talk to the other. Okay, so we're assigning a role to 
the um, uh, to to the to the lambda function. Uh, we haven't we haven't created it yet, but we've got a bucket to hold the objects and a policy to access the bucket. We got an image for the for we have an image that we're going to place inside and use as the basis for the uh, the lambda function, but we haven't created that yet. First, we create a role, and then we're going to attach a policy to the role. And yes, policy gets attached to the role. So the the role is like um, a role is like a like a like a, a maybe like a wallet that you that can carry a, uh, an employee's or like a sort of like a <clears throat> it's one of those badge it's like one of those badge holders or whatever a role is like a, a the 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 sh the the thing that your badge goes in and then the 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 actual policy is the badge itself so it goes in that like cover or whatever that you use on your belt to get in the door okay it's kind of like that all right so anyways this gets you this gets you in the door this lets you talk to the various services so you have a lambda execute uh, policy attached to the role and the role gets attached to um, this the role gets attached to the service so it's going to be the further lambda and this is going to let you execute anything on it all right, and next we have the lambda function itself. And now this seems like it's kind of out of order, but it doesn't really matter. I could have put the, the thumbnailer first and then the and then the role and then the policy. It would probably make more sense if we did that way. Let's just do it like that. Okay. So thumbnailer is a new lambda function. Okay, I'm giving everything the name for thumbnailer because it's just all the same. Um, okay, never mind. This it doesn't hoist, so we're gonna just put this after, so it doesn't complain, because the th the lambda function needs a needs a reference to a role, and we have to create the role before we can reference it. Okay, so we create the role, attach the policy, and then apply it the role with the policy attached to the lambda function. Okay, so the um, what kind of lambda function? Are we just going to define it in line, or we're going to use an image in, in the Elastic Container Registry? No, we're going to use an image. And what image is it going to be? It's going to be the property image value of the image variable. The image variable is actually belong to the thing we created f first. All right, this ffmpeg, which we already we already looked at here, right there. Alright, so we got that good so far. What else? What's next? Okay, now 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 we attach the events. And I'm gonna I'm gonna um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna include yeah, okay. I'm gonna include the the comments in here too. Okay, so here's Here's the now. Here's the events that are going to be r relating the the different objects. So the different objects we have are the image that goes in the lambda function. We have the bucket, and then yeah. So we have the bucket in a lambda function. We have an image that goes in the lambda, and we have roles and policies that get attached to the lambda. We also have a policy in line policy gets attached to the bucket. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And now we have uh, event events that'll get attached to the bucket. So this is kind of like bucket dot on object created is very similar to if I were to say like uh, button dot add event listener click or in the in in the button itself as an attribute, I would say on click equals function. That's the same as this. So bucket done on object created. 
new on new video it's not a proper name it's just whatever you want to call it um, you just say handler so on object created is the is the name of the event that's being handled and the handler is this thumbnailer here so that'll be that okay and then args says filter suffix mp4 meaning it's lit the bucket on object created meaning it's listening for an object landing in there of type movie mp4 specifically and it'll use this thumbnailer lambda function it'll kick this off or use this to handle that event okay now another another um, <clears throat> slightly seemingly more forbidding um, uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 event handler here but actually it's it's even much simpler but it looks a little bit more uh, difficult because it's just it's in line here but all it is is just logging if there's a record in the bucket if there's not a record in the bucket return otherwise for each record log its name and the time at which it was uh, it, it hit the bucket and then attach the policy lambda execute which is the same policy as uh, this one this is also lambda execute so here you have like this separate uh, this policy kind of created here whereas in this case you're just saying this you, this case you're just you're just applying it here in the array of policies when we're we're defining the um, <clears throat> the lambda here so there's two ways we're doing lambda one is in line on in in the handler itself as a callback function and the other is separately here uh, where it's referred to where we refer to it in in the in um, in the event as as a handler okay one's a callback the other is standalone lambda dot function lambda dot callback function okay this one has kind of a little bit different syntax you know you're saying like you know you got a little type type stuff in here give it a name reference this callback it's of type async takes the you know takes the arguments and does things with it and then you have the policy at the end here you also have well in this case you have a role and a role role has a policy and this policy uh, refers to again the same role same role and gives and here's the policy but this actual uh, this actual role here is not referred to anywhere else but it is actually still required for things to work I mean yeah okay lastly what we're gonna do is we're going to export the Convenient. These are convenience functions here, but it, it actually isn't. It actually is really uh, necessary too. Also, when we're doing our operations. So, okay. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so what we want to do here is say Pulumi up. Let's go. Let's take a look. See what we've got. Any bucket? Okay, good. Let's get something in there. All right. Okay, we're retarded in there. Our functions and our repo. Okay. 
have a log stream should tell us um, copied it to the local took I've got a thumbnail I mean um, ran FFmpeg Let's see here. Okay. Copied the thumbnail back up. And it's done. Okay. So, um, you should have the outputs here. And let's see. You're retarded. Okay. And if we, let's say, uh, this will still be the same site, but let's say we, um, let's say we uh, clear these out though. And, uh, <clears throat> instead of doing that one, let's do one second before that. Just make sure that's clear. Just say, okay, close. Okay, and then we'll go and copy once. We'll copy the screenshot one second before that. Oh nine, and then let's take a look um, at the log groups. There should be a couple. Yeah. Okay, on new thumbnail, it's gonna say that you know the retarded was saved at that time. Okay, let's actually go back here. I'm say a thumbnailer and you should have another one, another start, okay. And so I'm keep resuming on there. Okay, and all right, so we should have this one. Let's see. So no. Okay. So he is accusing her of something and then she's calling him retarded. So it looks like it works.